Today we're going to talk about the English idiom, wear many hats. So maybe you've encountered this. What does this mean to wear many hats? Do you wear many hats? The business English idiom, to wear many hats. I'm Timothy Barrett and welcome to the Four Business English Rundown, the show for people all over the world who want to improve their professional communication skills in English. So let's jump into it. Often idioms have kind of a literal meaning, or at least as, as a basis point, as a starting point, as a foundation. And I think it helps to think about that and then think about what does it mean you know, in the, in the modern context. If we go back, I don't know, 100 years or so, people would wear different hats depending on their job, on their role. For instance, if they worked in a certain position, maybe you know they're a doorman at, at a fancy hotel, they would have a certain hat and jacket, that sort of thing. If they were a chauffeur, a driver, they would have a certain hat, a certain kind of uniform that they would wear. If they worked inside as a bellboy at the hotel, they would have a different hat. If they worked in reception or they were, or they were a cleaning lady, a, a maid, they would have a different hat. You know, so depending on what position they had, they have a different hat to kind of go with that, with that uniform, to go with that position. Now, in the modern context, we don't, a lot of hotels don't have bellboys or, or doormen. Some, some still do, but most don't. In a, most positions don't have a specific uniform, you know, and if they do, they probably don't have hats. You know, hats aren't very common, at least as they were 100 years ago. But we still use this expression. So this expression means that you have different roles, different positions. For instance, maybe you work at the hotel, but maybe you are the doorman. You know, you'll go outside and you'll open the door. You'll maybe you're the bellboy. You're, you'll help them with the luggage come in. Maybe you're you work at reception. You'll check them into their room, and you're the bellboy. You'll help them take take them take their luggage up up to the room. Maybe you're the cleaning person. You know, after they leave, you're you're gonna clean up the room. Maybe you're serving breakfast in the morning or whatever. And that. In that scenario, you're wearing many hats. You're doing many different roles. In, in the modern life, that, that's very common, you know, especially if it's a small business. If you are just starting your own company or starting a small business, maybe you're doing everything. You know, you're the receptionist, you're answering the phone, you're handling the advertising, you're handling the social media, uh, as well as the content, as well as the, the contracts, as well as purchasing and accounting. Maybe you're doing it all. Now, in other words, you're wearing many hats. Now, let's say the small business gets more and more successful. As that happens, you're going to hire people. Maybe you know, you're going to hire someone that they're just doing the social media. You, know, you take that hat off and you're giving it to them. They're responsible for all the social media. Someone else is going to do the accounting. You know, they'll do the, the payables, the receivables, you know, all of those things. You don't have to worry about it so much anymore. Now, if you're the owner, you might have the responsibility. You know, you're, you're still responsible for everything, but you're delegating authority to, to different employees. So they're handling it more and more. You're wearing less hats, in other words. So wearing many hats or to wear many hats is a very common English idiom, I think in everyday English as well as in business English. Like I said, especially with a small business, it's very common that the, that the founder or the founders wear many hats, especially in the early days of the company. Hopefully that will change over time as the company grows and expands, hires new employees. This is a great idiom to include in your vocabulary and start using. So now it's your turn. It's your opportunity to practice this idiom. It's great that you watch this video and listen to it, but you'll get a lot more out of it if you do something with that knowledge, if you practice that knowledge you just learned. So your assignment is to come up with a sentence using this idiom, to wear many hats. Try to come up with a novel sentence, maybe a little bit different than what we talked about during the video, and post it in the comments for this video. This is a great way to solidify what you just learned, to use this idiom in a sentence, in context, and show it off by putting them in the comments. Now it's time to conquer that like button and make it ours. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna enjoy the other ones just as much, so please check them out. Work hard today and enjoy tomorrow.